what I'm seeing now is a lot of the younger folks are mixing narcotics uh, with the alcohol. It's not so much that they're drinking the, uh, an excessive amount of alcohol, but they're mixing it with the narcotics. Um, I'm seeing a lot of Xanax, um, some cocaine, but uh, morphine and other things like that. Um, oxycodone is another hugely popular one. Let's start heading towards 355. He's got a possible signal one. What's his location? Signal 15 at the bowling alley, BSL lanes. Oh, okay, yep. Just go down there and see if uh, this driver is impaired or not. If they're not, we'll let them go on their way. A lot of PSL lanes. Yeah. These guys have been in here drinking all night long. Okay. Uh, shooting pool. Okay. I mean, uh, bowling. Okay. So they've been uh, drinking and drinking and drinking. Then drinking escalated in just petty arguments and this and that. So I wanted to get into a situation where I could stop them, you know, keep them from driving. But okay. They, because she had stopped originally, told me she was calling a cab. Okay. Um, but he was still not, who's, not around who's, her. Who, who's he? Who, who's the driver? Driver is going to be... Is he in the gray shirt or the blue shirt? In the gray shirt. Okay. She was waiting for a cab. She went over there to make a call. He right. got in the car, started driving, he parked it. Then he got out again, started driving and chasing her around the parking lot. And that's when I called you, and that's when we stopped him. Okay. I'm going to have a talk with him. Um, I'm noticing that your speech is somewhat slurred, okay? That's how I am. I'm, you know, very, I'm very calm. Okay. I'm cool and collected. That's Excellent. how I am. Excellent. Okay? I'm just telling you what I see, okay? okay. Um, what I would like you to do is some field sobriety exercises for me, if you don't mind, okay? Because okay? I use these exercises to determine whether or not you're impaired. What I'd like you to do is come over here for me. I mean, we need a little more room. That's... Well, I, I'm not I trying to cause I, you I any did, pain. I know, but I mean, I didn't. I mean, my my mother's coming right now. I'm not driving. I, I understand that, sir. But I need to. You were driving before, and I need to make sure. Okay, I'd like you to face the police car. Okay. No, right here. See, right, right about where the light. The, right here. Right where this my foot is. Okay. Put your put your left foot down and put your right foot in front of it, touching heel to toe, just like that. Nope, heel to toe, so it's a straight line. Keep on going, your heel has to be on your toe. There you go. Stay in that, go ahead and stay in that position while I explain the exercise. Okay, what I'd like you to do is take nine steps, touching heel to toe, just like this, okay? When you get to the ninth step, leave your front foot planted, whichever one it is. Take a series of small steps like this. Touch heel to toe again, and nine steps back. The whole time I want you to look down at your feet and I want you to count your steps out loud. Do you understand? Okay, if you understand the exercise, go ahead and try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, Mr. Come on over here for me. Okay. Come on up here. Put your hands on my push bumper. Sir, you're under arrest for DUI. I need you to put your hands behind your back. Not because I think you're a bad person. That's just got the way it's gotta be. Go ahead and place you in handcuffs, okay? How did I feel? Sir? How did sir? I feel? Relax, relax. Did you do all your tests? I didn't feel one of your Test. Sir, relax. Sir, all that isn't necessary. No, it is necessary. Okay. I just did every test right. I didn't fail one thing. Sir, what I'd like to do is double lock these handcuffs so they don't cut in on you. And then I'm going to read you something. Okay, let me, let me get over here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, sir. Yeah, make sure you got that on camera that I touched each heel to toe nine times at a time and turned around. Sir, sir. Man, these mother I am now requesting that you submit to a lawful test of your breath for the purpose of determining the alcoholic content of your breath. If you refuse to take this test, your privilege of operating a motor vehicle will be suspended for a period of one year or 18 months if your license has previously been suspended for refusing to submit to required tests. 
and if your license is previously suspended for refusal to submit to the test, you will be committing a misdemeanor. Refusal to submit to this test can be used against you in court. Sir, my question to you is, will you submit to a breath test? No. You will not. Okay. Well, what we're going to do is, do you have your van here? Could you transport for me? Okay. Just hang out for a second. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, transport so you to the I jail. So why did I fail? Tell me that. Why? How did I fail? You failed the exercises, sir. How did I fail the exercise? It will be clearly listed in your arrest affidavit. No, you tell me right now. No, sir, I will not. I should have that I right. Not I did everything to, you asked me I to do. To I did heel to toe, nine steps, turned around and did nine you steps. You did it improperly, sir. I did improperly? Yes. Tell me what I did improperly. I'll show you on the video in court. No, yeah, well, yeah, we will see because I'm fighting it all the way. Okay. And what's Relax, your name? Sir. Deputy LeBeau. LeBeau? -E yeah, good. Okay, thank you. I failed. I passed, hey, I passed every f***ing test they just gave me. He asked me to give me nine heel to toes to turn around, and I just did that. I'll get my toes. I did it. I got two f***ing witnesses on you. Yeah, it is on video, and I'm taking it to f***ing trial. Um, not to make matters worse, I don't have to tow the vehicle. Right. I if it's okay it with you, um, we're just going to go ahead and lock it up. Okay. Okay. Would you do a vehicle release for me? You want me to cancel them? Yeah, I I'll cancel them. But I don't want this this woman to have to pay a $200 tow bill if we don't have to. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, Deputy Oxley is going to transport your son to the jail. He's refused to take a breath test which is fine, it's, it's his choice. Um, and he'll be held for eight hours past time of arrest, so that's like 8, 8.20 in the morning, give or take. Um, they're gonna pull his criminal history and see if he's been arrested for DUI before, and the bond amount starts out at 350 and it goes up from there. When I know exactly what the bond, bond amount is, I will tell your son, and I'm sure he'll relay it to you. Okay. Okay, right. do you have any questions for me? No. I'm sorry, I had to work out this way, ma'am. I really am. Uh, I feel the gentleman was in fact driving and in physical control of the vehicle while impaired. I placed him under arrest for DUI, read him implied consent, and you saw the reaction that I got from that. Uh, the gentleman has since uh, refused to take the breath test, and as is my custom, I give, will give him a second opportunity when we get to the jail to submit to the breath test. Uh, based on his demeanor, I doubt that he will do it, but I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt one more time. Um, and then file the paperwork accordingly, whichever way uh, this ends up going. And if we go to court, then the jury gets to see what you just saw. 17. 97, the county jail.